Hey folks, Bishop and Dan here with Do It Then Outdoors. Today we got some aider reviews that we're going to do. Uh, we paid for all of these aiders. They're just kind of sitting around. We're going through our gear for the beginning of deer season. We decided, wow, which aider are we going to use? So uh, Dan's going to just kind of go around in the room here and show yeah. you what all we got. Yeah, so the first one, I've been using climbing aiders for three, four years now. Initially, I was using them with a lock-on stand, running my XOP sticks. I've now gone into a saddle. But really, it doesn't matter what you're using, a stand or a saddle. If you're using a climbing mechanism, like a movable climbing mechanism, like a, a stick, then a climbing aider is something that you might want to consider. You also have the naders and suaders, which Bishop is messing around with. We might do another video regarding that. But today is aiders. First one that I ever bought, uh, I did make a DIY one out of one inch tubular webbing. Uh, it worked, uh, made one for Pete. We used them for a couple seasons, and uh, but then I moved into the manufactured ones. This is like a $17 one off of Amazon. Um, you know, we'll talk about the specifications later. It's not high quality, um, but I'll leave it at that. <laughs> this is a uh, Vital Ground Outdoors prototype of their movable aider. I have another video on this that we did back in March. I'll drop the link for that down below and I'll do the card up top. Uh, Matt has now came out and upgraded it to one that you could actually pre-order. Uh, I guess the one thing, the key thing about this is it's customizable. Customizable? That'll yep, work? Custom. You got to be careful when you have a guy from Pennsylvania and Mississippi. We like to create words. But, uh, you know, he'll, he'll build it to whatever method that you're using. So I'm running the XOPs. So where it, it goes onto the stick to my first step, he can adjust that. He can adjust your step length and how many steps you have. So this one here, actually, I just got for Bishop for his birthday. And, uh, you know, this is the first time really using it. And I, I'm impressed with the modifications that he made. So why don't you go ahead and dive into that one real quick? Yeah, absolutely. So this is the new one Matt made from Vital Ground Outdoors. He's using some thicker, higher grade, looks like kind of like PVC, but it's not as flexible. And then he's covering it with some sort of shrink wrap. Uh, he basically talks to everybody in the saddle hunting world uh, and takes all their advice, compiles it together, comes up with, you know, best case scenario. I don't know. He's in like the aerospace engineering yeah. <laughs> industry. So his, his brain's like way up here, but he has created this awesome uh, aider that really has no flex. It's like yeah. climbing a ladder. I know that when so. he, he beat this one for me, he's like, test it out, see what yeah. you like, give me some feedback. And, you know, being an amateur at this, I was like, oh, I love it. There's nothing that can be changed. Yeah. And I don't know, I think within an hour, he's sending he's me like, videos yeah. of like load testing it. I forget what the weight was, um, but there was like the smallest amount of flex in this step. And he was like, nope, got to redo it. Yeah. And that's why he I mean, these know. two are basically the same. It's just like he wanted to go smaller diameter and sturdier material. And yeah. he found that. And he was concerned and, a little uh, bit about the weight. For um, all you one sticker guys, most all of these have, you know, the, uh, the uh, piece of bungee here that you can clip to, to be able to carry this with you so it doesn't fall down so yeah and even if you're using it as a move weight or not as necessarily as a one sticker so like yeah. i run two sticks and one aider regardless of what aider you're using um, and i move the aider with me as i go yeah. up and that's a nice feature um, i might actually ask him if he can yeah. give me some of that to add to mine so that when i do move it you know sometimes i put it in my mouth i'll put this over my head yeah. You know, we're there. I could just clip it to something and, and have it as a as a backup. Is so that the nice. new? Is that the new word? Two sticker. Two sticker. Two yeah. sticker. I want two sticker. sticker. <laughs> hashtag, so, hashtag two sticker. Hashtag two sticker. <laughs> so now over here we have another same deal customator. They're going to ask you. They're going to want to know what types of steps you're running. This is from uh, Backwoods Mobile Gear. Uh, it's a great aider as well, but it's got one inch flexible tubing. So. It, it is going to flex kind of around your foot. There's pros and cons to both. I Me mean, personally, I like this like ladder feel. Some people like that rope feel that kind of hugs your foot uh, to each their own. You can see this is made out of like, going to be made out of like the higher grade am steel that probably takes a yeah. army truck to bust. Uh, this is more of a... Um, the one inch tubular webbing. Yeah, what would you call this? Like a para, para strap? Like it's just nylon. Strap. Yeah, it's nylon a, strap. Yeah. It's very sturdy. Um, so we're going to go through these, uh, but before we do that, I think it's good to highlight that practice. Uh, and I hate that word. I'm like, uh, <laughs> Alan, Iverson. Alan Iverson, who wants to practice, but these things can give you a scare if you don't practice. So, I mean, you could, you could see how easy this is. I mean, you can hang a nail in a tree or a screw or hang this in your basement and, and maybe climb it once or twice a day or a couple times a week just to practice. Cause I promise you, you go like who did it yeah. <laughs> you go like me the first day of deer season with your new aider and only have climbed it once or twice 
you're going to be in for a rude awakening and yeah. texting Dan and calling, <laughs> help, what am I doing wrong? Uh, so you need to practice. All right, so the first one we're going to start off with is this Amazon one. Again, it was $17. You can see, I mean, it does pack down really, really small. Uh, I, I would be lying if I say I don't carry this. When I go to Pennsylvania into the big woods where, you know, there's nobody around, there's no cell service, I have taken this and shoved it in my backpack as a backup in case I ever dropped um, one of my other aiders. But, you know, you can see how small, this is designed for rock climbing, I believe, uh, for like emergency situations when you're rock climbing. So it's not designed for hunting boots. You know, this is a 10 inch crispy guide boot. And I mean, I can get it in there, but it's not nearly as easy as going into one of these. So will it work? Absolutely. Is it as safe as one of these? In my opinion, no. And you know, it's back to that nylon material. You can see there is some wear already from the little bit of use that I've used on this by it rotating on the steps. You know, you're not going to be able to, to put this over a button and be able to, I mean, I could, but I don't think I'm going to get it back off real easy and it's not even all the way on there. So when I do use this, I just take that top step and I put it over a stick like that. So now, Dan, would you say by far it's probably three to four times cheaper than any other one? Oh yeah, I mean doing? that's like, so seventeen dollars compared to I think the East the uh, uh, Vital Ground Outdoors are like seventy five. I don't know what you paid for your backwoods About mobile. Seventy five. So. Yeah, so it, it's definitely uh, you know if you need to get in and you're trying to save some money, it will work. Um, but I wouldn't be wearing winter boots and trying to go up that thing. And would you say that's probably the lightest one we'll cover? Yeah, yeah, absolutely, it's the lightest. Um, but you would have to make some modifications to get it to mount to your stick. So that would I be guess some additional weight. The question weight. is, is do you want to trust your life with seventeen bucks? Yeah, that's really ultimately it's it's going to be a backup thing for me at this point. I I would not recommend anybody use that as their primary climbing all right, so again, this is a prototype, so I'm not going to really hit onto it really hard uh, because it's really not available anymore. I still use it. I'm going to use it this season. I love it. Um, but you know, it's the the what I really like about this is how you can customize it, you know, to the specific stick that you're using. Good. All right, so we'll talk about the Backwoods Mobile Custom Aider. I think you can get this in one, two, three, maybe even four step. They'll pretty much customize these things any way you want them. Uh, I don't know if I would ever go over a three step. Uh, I actually, probably most of the time, depending on the trees, I'm only using two of these steps. Uh, but you can see it's made out of this really heavy duty nylon cord. Uh, it's got one inch rubber tubing sawn in. So very heavy duty made. Some of the things I would say that's probably uh, not that user friendly is I feel like a lot of the aiders are meant to fit around the button. You could put this around the middle button or this bottom button, but it's, it's probably going to slip. It's really meant to go around the actual step, uh, just like this and that, which for all of you one stickers or as Dan, the two stickers, uh, it's actually going to, you know, it does have the, the, uh, the bungee that clips to you, but that's going to be really hard to get off of the step. You could actually pull the step up or out. So that's one of the things I would say it's not for really the, the single stickers um you know because it, it really needs to fit around this button and come off a lot a lot easier uh, i personally like to kind of uh put mine on this step so it holds still but what you could see is this actually kind of conforms to your foot some people like that some people don't i'm more of a fan of like a really hard step that feels like a ladder but uh some people like this it, uh, it does feel sturdy, but it has some give in it with that rubber flex. So it's kind of to each their own. Uh, this is a very reputable company, but uh, um, I, I don't use this one that much because like I said, I prefer a harder step that has no give. The con is definitely, you're not gonna get that off that easy if you're trying to move it from one stick to the other. This one is about three and a half ounces lighter than the, uh, the aider that we'll cover from Vital Grounds, but yeah, this is the Backwoods Mobile Customator. Now we're going to move on to the new Vital Grounds Customator. Again, Customator. Here's the old version you can see as we discussed earlier. And you can basically see the changes they've made. For all the one stickers and two stickers out there, like we said, it has the, uh, the piece of uh, bungee to, to clip to you. And what we love about this is you can put it on each one of these buttons or you could put it here around. And so it's very customizable. I'll put this one on this button here and just show you. 
how this gives has no give. But once you get your foot in here, it's like climbing a ladder. I mean, like, it is easy peasy. And I am not that good at aiders. This one I found that I climb it just like I'm climbing a ladder. I mean, it is, it's wonderful. Um, easy to come down on. Those pieces, those steps are just, they're very easy to find with your foot. And uh, I have no complaints about this one, but I shouldn't. Like we said, Matt has done so much research on this and has reached out to so many people for feedback. It's no surprise to us that the quality of this is just phenomenal. All right, so we just want to do a real quick video, show you the aiders that we use, the aiders that we like, what we don't like about them. Um, so hopefully that helped. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments down below. Hit us on Facebook or Instagram at Do It Then Outdoors. Awesome, and remember, practice, practice, practice. Be safe, be safe. We will drop the links to the Vital Ground Outdoors and the Backwood Mobile. We're not going to take the liability of dropping the link for the Amazon Aider. If you want to go the Amazon at route, just search for it on Amazon. Uh, so as always, from Dan and Bishop, the boys that do it then outdoors, have safe hunting. Do it, Dan.